Well, the wait and see period has ended for people hesitant about the vaccine. If people have not gotten the shot yet, they may soon no longer have a choice. Local, state and federal leaders are now taking action. Today, several Front Range hospitals made it mandatory for people working in their buildings to get vaccinated for COVID. President Biden is expected to put the same requirement in place tomorrow for all federal workers. This is even impacting your kids. Aurora Public Schools announced a vaccine requirement for kids planning to play sports this fall. Well, tonight we have a 360 in-depth look at what this all means, who it affects, and why some say enough with the restrictions. We're going to begin with Front Range Hospitals instituting vaccine mandates. Here's Denver 7's Addy Guajardo. On Wednesday, employees at both Denver Health and UC Health got the news. We will be mandating the COVID-19 vaccination for everyone basically who walks in our building. UC Health and Denver Health will now require all employees, trainees, contractors, and volunteers to be fully vaccinated. The surge in the Delta variant, I think it puts extra urgency to make sure that we are getting all of our health care providers uh, vaccinated for the safety of our patients and for the safety of our staff. UC Health set a deadline for its employees to be fully vaccinated by October 1st. They're giving a $500 bonus to all employees who get a shot by August 22nd. Denver Health's deadline is November 1st with no bonuses. Employees can apply for a medical or religious exemption, but for those who fail to get a shot and are not exempt, they'll get fired. It's just crazy that it's come down to that. A medical assistant who says she works at UC Health asked to remain anonymous. She says she sees both sides. She had an adverse reaction to her first shot and plans to apply for an exemption, but for people who can't opt out, it's sparking uproar. There's a lot of upset people because they did not want to get vaccinated, and I've heard multiple employees say they would quit. Another UC Health nurse who asked to remain anonymous called the mandate an impingement on their freedom. Their statement reads, it may be a good vaccine, but for those who wish to abstain until further research is complete, should not be forced to comply. A spokesperson with UC Health and Denver Health says they're within their rights to require inoculation. We have previously mandated influenza vaccination, and it's with the same focus. Focus is safety of our patients, of our staff, of our visitors, of everyone again that walks in our building. Addy Guajardo, Denver 7. 85% of employees at Denver Health are vaccinated. That number is about the same at UC Health. And we learned today Banner Health, which operates hospitals in northern Colorado, will also mandate vaccines for its employees. Now, tomorrow, President Biden is expected to mandate vaccines for nearly 2 million federal workers. Here in Colorado, that means anyone who works for the National Park Service, for the military, the Postal Service, and those who work for TSA, just to name a few. If federal workers do not want to receive the vaccine, they would be subject to weekly COVID testing.